hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to convert your regular epson workforce printer into a sublimation printer so right here i'm showing you guys the ink that i'll be using this ink is from cosmos ink and um i'm going to show you guys what it came with so in the box it came with the um for ink it can also came with uh, the needle and it also came with some um, cartridges, some reusable cartridges. So we're just gonna get right into this video and I'm gonna show you guys how to sublimate, how to turn your Epson printer into a sublimation printer. So this is the printer that I have. I have an Epson Workforce 7720, as you guys can see, so let's get right into it. This right here is where we're gonna insert our ink and this right here is gonna be our ventilation section. So you're gonna put your ink in this one. So this can be removed, they can both be removed. So we're gonna put our ink right in here. We're gonna start with our yellow ink. And you don't wanna shake it because you wanna make sure you have as little bubbles as possible. And this is our needle so we got a 10 millimeter needle right here okay. it's gonna fill it all the way up we're just gonna put it in there and angle it down here to ensure it starts from this corner and fills its way up. You guys see? So after you're done, um, before you put it in the your printer, you're supposed to take this part out. But for now, since I'm not putting in my printer yet, I'm just going to leave it here. I'm not going to remove it as yet. I'm going to remove it right before I put it in my printer. And then you can just um, wash this and put it aside for your next refill. As you can see, I filled up my cartridge and I still have a lot of ink left back. After you're done filling your ink and your cartridges, you're just going to switch out your old ink and put in the sublimation ink into your printer. So firstly, what you're going to do is hit the settings button on your printer. And after you hit the settings button, you're going to hit the maintenance button. And right after, you're going to just click on 
the ink cartridges replacement button and as soon as you click on that it's gonna um, prompt you to lift up the head of your printer and you're just gonna follow these instructions after you lift the head up of your printer your um, cartridges are just gonna do this dance from left to right and it's gonna dock on the right hand side after it docks on the right hand side you can now um, remove your old ink cartridges and, and replace that with your new sublimation ink cartridges. So this is exactly what I'm doing. I'm just removing my ink cartridges one by one. I'm just going to replace them with my new ink cartridges. guys I just want to remind you guys to remove your ventilation plugs before you put your new cartridges into your printer because I actually forgot and it took me a lot longer to convert my printer into a sublimation printer than it should have so I'm just letting you guys know so you guys don't have to go through the same thing that I went through <music> After you put your sublimation ink into your printer, all you're doing is um, running the old ink out of your printer and making sure the sublimation ink comes through. So um, it took me a bit longer, it took me at least like 12 tries, mainly because I forgot to remove my ventilation plug. But I believe if I remembered to remove the ventilation plug, I would have had like a lot less tries. So I'll show you guys a before and after clip of how the regular ink looks and how the sublimation ink should look when you when it comes into your printer. Here we go. So this is the finishing product, guys. As you guys can see, this one right here is regular ink and this one right here is sublimation ink. So um, the regular ink is a bit darker. So you guys can see. It's a bit darker and the sublimation ink is a bit um, washed out but when you print this out on the sublimation paper and you um, use your heat press the colors come out really bright so the fact that it's um, it looks washed out doesn't matter because it still looks very good when you print it on your t-shirt so that's it for now guys thank you for watching my video bye